This satisfying animation has been blowing up social media with millions of views, with the comparison of fabric simulations with one face versus hundreds of faces making this satisfying to watch. This video will be showing up the strategy behind the process of this one of the most satisfying animation making process. For the animation, I will be using Blender which I'm using Blender on Android which is also available for iPad users. So first thing we need to do is to go right into our 3D space and delete the default cube because we don't need it. So to set up quick studio background for this, I add new plane, scale it up and switch to modeling tab, add some loop cut around it and extrude the edge to looks like this, and then I add bevel to smooth the center. Next, I add new cube to create object the fabric will fall on. I switch to modeling to give this some kind of shapes and style. After that I add new plane which will be the main cloth drama in our scene, then I duplicate this in for different ways. After arranging the first important aspect of the work, it's time to start the physics simulations process. For the process of this animation, I will be using these two different types of physics in our scene which is cloth simulations and object collision which this will put the main drama in our scene. This allow our object to interact and collide with each other, bringing out the magic behind the animation. So first, we need to select our object which the fabric will fall on, click on physics tab and chose collision. Up next, we need to hide three from our for duplicated plane, cause we will be working on it one after the other. As we all know every of this animation start with one face, so we don't need to subdivide this first plane which will be our first render face one test. Select the plane, click on physics tab and chose cloth. Then when I play the animation this fall on the object collision. You can also set the background plane as collision also in case the fabric fall off the object collision. Then I choose second plane and subdivide it in 25 cut. This will be our second test of 200 for faces. Then I pick the third plane and subdivide it in 60 cut. This will be our third test of 643 faces. And lastly, I pick the fourth last plane which I subdivide it in 85 cut. This will be our fourth test of 1000 faces. As you can see those react differently as we increase the number of cuts in the subdivision, which brings the drama behind the animation. Let's add simple material to the scene. I select the background plane and click on new material, and make this pink color. And I also make the collision object a little bit dark. For the cloth objects, I need to add quick texture to this, which I will be applying the texture on Nomad Sculpt which is available both on Android and iPad. I import those planes and UV unwrapped it. Then I check into Polyhaven to get some texture for this, cause they offer varieties of textures for any different kinds of projects. I grab one of their fabric texture, then I start applying this to our imported plane, which I set up and I import it back to Blender. After that, I chose to add light to the scene, but I think I should use HDR lighting for this, which I grab some couple of HDRI studio setup from Polyhaven. Which this really look pretty much good for the project, as you can see this looks cool and smart. Then after that you can now start rendering each faces of the animation, which you can now start adding some final touches and sound effects to it on any editing software. That's how to set up the one of the most satisfying animation workflow in Blender on Android. Subscribe for more Blender tutorials and Android tips. Until next time, keep creating and pushing the limits of what's possible with Blender on Android. Peace.